All right, all right. But we're going to continue on with our guests tonight. We are blessed again to have wonderful guests who are doing great things. And I want you to help me welcome all the way from the thriving metropolis of Bruton, Alabama, uh, Pastor Robert and Barbara McWilliams and their son, Robert Jr. Welcome to Atlanta Live, y'all. All, right. all right, welcome to y'all. Welcome y'all. God bless. God bless y'all. All right. Amen. Now, Junior had the honor of, of meeting you a couple of months ago Correct. when you were on the music set. Yeah. I call him Magic Fingers. Yeah. <laughs> that young man can play. You know, and, uh, and I understand Papa, he plays for your church. Yes, he does. He does. Oh, okay. And uh, he's uh, gifted with the uh, guitar, the drums. He started out with the drums. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then he went to the keyboard. Yeah. The bass guitar, the lead guitar. My and God. then I have a 14-year-old grandson that he uh -huh. taught him, and he's our lead musician now because he's not with us every Sunday. Yeah, he's, just, he's in, well, you know, yeah. I, <laughs> he, he, had to, he had to do what he got to do. Yeah. Yeah. But that is just truly awesome. That is, that is flat out awesome. Now, y'all are out of Bruton, Alabama. That's correct. Lower Alabama. Lower yeah. Alabama. Lower Alabama. Good God's country down there. Yes. What's the name of your church? The name of my church is New Life Holiness Apostolic Church. Good God Almighty, that a sound like shouting and hand clapping up in there. Good time. The good time in the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's what I'm talking about. You know, there, we're living in a time now where Christians need to come out of the closet. Yes. and stop being ashamed to yes. praise God Amen. and worry about what people say Amen. and go ahead on because, you know, the older I get, the more I recognize every day is special. Yes. Every yes. day. That's correct. Every day. There was a young lady in church Sunday at our church and she just turned probably 52, 53 years old and just got word today that she, she fell out wow. and went to the doctor and found out she has a mass on her brain. Wow. You don't know what's happening. I was just sharing with uh, with our program producer earlier, and she was telling about a lady who was at that church, and their son took sick, bam, gone just like this. And it's just not your old folks, it's young folks too. That's you know, man. there are a lot of long caskets and short ones, but we need to get ready and stay ready. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Now, you've got something that you kind of working, kind of uh, borrowed it from your mom. She started it a while back, and you kind of borrowed it from her and kind of taken it to another level, talking about a certain aspect of the church family and kind of tell us about that, how you got it started now. Yeah, um, I work with um, Saved and Singles Ministries. Okay. Um, it started, um, I guess, online in 2011. Actually, my mother started the local singles ministry at our home church yeah. um, about 21 years ago. Okay. So, um, Saved and Singles, in essence, it kind of birthed uh, a lot of people that attend uh, my church, New Life Holiness Apostolic Church, commute. And so I came up with a conference call idea mm -hmm. um, for us to kind of meet, you know, on second and fourth Saturdays. Yeah. Um, so we could just call you in, uh, encourage each other from a distance. Um, and like I said, that started within the church four years ago. And um, I started blasting it on using so social media, Facebook, Twitter, and now um, we have people from Canada, all over the U.S., from Jamaica that calls in. And it's, really? it's just really been a blessing. Really, that 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 sort of that that gears itself toward the single crowd. Correct, correct. You, have you found that there is a unique need for singles ministry? Oh yes, that's yeah. it's kind of like uh, the forgotten crowd, um, and, and I always say that single ministry is the most unique ministry that I've dealt with. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I think with music ministry, you know, if you generally certain groups like certain types of music, I think right. with, with youth ministry, you can kind of there's a certain avenue to approach. But with singles, it's so unique because it could be anyone from 18 to 90 plus years old mm -hmm. um, and all of those different age ranges have, have different needs yeah, you know you from the yeah. 18 year olds you know maybe yeah. they just need direction in life you yeah. know the 20 something to 30 something year olds you know they might be seeking a mate or a spouse and yeah. older may be dealing with divorce issues or yeah. whatnot so it's yeah. a very unique um, uh, section of the body of Christ that that often gets overlooked but mama that was birth in your spirit Many years ago, 21 years ago? Yeah, correct. 
Yes. You weren't even born then. <laughs> Amen. 21 years ago. Amen. And what brought that about in your spirit? Because that wasn't, 21 years ago, it wasn't as popular as it is now as far as the ministry is concerned. Well, the Lord just, he gave me a burden for the single people. For the single people. He just gave me, I'm passionate. I fast every Friday for them. For and the singles. For the single peoples, not just in my local assembly, but all over the world, I pray for the single peoples. Because I feel like that when the married couples go home, the single peoples go home to, to empty house and demons torment them. So I feel like we just need to, so God just gave me a burden to begin to pray for them, that God will bless them. Everybody's single is not seeking a mate. And I'm not, right, so, right, right. but the ones that are. Well, you know, you said something profound right there to me. Uh, whenever we go home, mm -hmm. we meet something right. or someone. That's right, uh -huh. absolutely. And if there's not a mate there, yeah. Satan got somebody to meet yes. you right absolutely. there. Right. You know, now I told you, you're all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to deal with you. Right. Nobody want to deal right. with your attitude and whatever. It, what is it about you that ain't right? right? And all of a sudden, he starts beating you down. Yes, he does. And making you your self esteem low. Yes, he does. Nobody really wants me. Nobody thinks I'm important. Nobody thinks I'm pretty. Exactly. Nobody thinks I'm handsome. Nobody right. thinks I'm special. Mm -hmm. And 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 we can become our own worst enemy. Absolutely. Right. You know. But I think that 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 through the church is holistic approach dealing yes. with the whole person yes that is vitally important it is you know especially to deal with that segment of our population mm -hmm. right. you know because so many of our children and it's hard as it's sad to say uh, are products of broken homes yeah. and broken mm -hmm. environments single parents That's and right. so forth and they need encouragement they do That's right Everybody yeah. needs somebody That's right. to encourage yeah. them, yeah. you know, yeah. How, and 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 uh, and lift them up and let them know that they're special and let yes. them know that they count and they have a purpose in life, yeah. you know. And and like you say, that is a ministry that's it oft times overlooked in the Absolutely. church yeah. and assume mm -hmm. that they're doing all right. Yes. right. You yes. know, and yes. I learned a long time ago, Pastor, that just because they're smiling on the outside mm -hmm. does not mean that everything mm -hmm. is all right mm -hmm. on the inside. No, it's not, it's right. Amen. Amen. And to have the heart and the sensitivity, and we're going to get in more into this in just a minute after um, we break away for a minute, but to have the heart and the sensitivity to reach that particular group. Mm -hmm. There are many groups, you know, yes. the seniors, young folks, mm -hmm. many target groups in the church uh, uh, that need targeting, That's but right. the singles is a unique group mm -hmm. that really needs that, and I applaud you for that. Now we're getting ready to break for just a minute. We're going to hold that thought, and we're going to go to our phones and encourage you to continue to call in and let our prayer partners pray with you and for you. Now we'll go back and listen to that prayer report. Good evening from the prayer room. I'm Minister James N. Steeles, Jr. from Pleasant Hill Missionary Baptist Church. We want to thank the Lord for what he's doing in the prayer room. We have many calls for salvation. We've had many calls of deliverance. But, but the scripture for this evening is trust in the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. So if you can get out of yourself and just get into Jesus, he will lead, guide, and direct you in any facet that you see fit. Believe that Jesus will do exactly what his word tells you to do. We know, if you need to call us, call us down at, at, the, at the number that you see on the screen at 770-300-9828. And also you can get us at, at prayer at WATC.org. So come, believe us, call us, and just let the Lord do what he can do. Now back to the studio. Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful prayer report. And we encourage you, please, to take that little leap of faith. All you got to do is pick up the phone, call, and there'll be somebody there to pray with you. And whatever the situation is, the Bible says we're two or three gathered together, touching and agreeing. If you get, feel like you're all by yourself, let somebody pray with you and agree with you. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, oh, my God, what a great night tonight to take that short leap of faith and know that it's well with your soul and if God were to come from you, that heaven would be your home. There's nothing in the world as wonderful as being saved. 
Amen. Now we're going to continue with our guest, the Mac Williams family from, Amen, Bruton, Alabama. <laughs> amen. And we've been talking about the, your your special niche, which is the singles ministry, and the work that y'all are doing. Your mom kind of initiated. Your daddy put his stamp of approval <laughs> on it, and now you've taken it and run with it. And now you got a CD out, uh, Saved and Single, info. Kind of tell us word, prayer, and affirmation CD. What is this? Okay. Um, well, yeah, I've um, always been, um, I guess, fascinated with people who's released prayer CDs or yeah. affirmation CDs, um, but they've always been not directly for specifically for a single. So I wanted to put together something that singles could listen to, yeah. um, you know, when they at that moment when they was discouraged and maybe, you know, hear the prayers of people praying for singles, yeah, for yeah. singleness, um, to encourage them. And um, with it, God allowed me to, to connect with uh, people from all over the world, literally. Uh, we have uh, uh, another single author, uh, Sister Carrie Ann. She does some words of wisdom from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one of my good friends, Brother Paris Hearn. He does some songs on there. Um, another brother from um, the Virgin Islands, um, Brother Kirby, uh, who does instrumental on there. Uh, mm -hmm. Even my own father is saying some words of wisdom right. on there. So it's, it's just um, it's a lot of people on there, uh, spoken word, prayers, uh, affirmations, just something that singles can listen to in there, uh, you know, at any point. Something I encourage them to even listen to every day because mm -hmm. it has prayers and uh, just words of wisdom to encourage them through their singleness. I think that that's awesome. That is the first time in my life that I've heard of somebody doing a CD just for singles like that, of affirmation and, and, and positive and encouragement, you know. And I think that that's, that's vitally important. It is. Because there, there does not need to be a group left behind. Right, right. You know, you know oftentimes it's the seniors that are kind of pigeonholed yeah, and they are, they are, it's kind of like chewing gum. They're used up until all the sweetness is gone and then they're stuck someplace over in a building mm -hmm. and, on, and you never know, the only thing you see is a building. Right. You know, but the fact is that you are not allowing the singles, and I want to talk about that, to just go through mm -hmm. and just go from day to day. Mm -hmm. But you're helping put substance in their lives. Yes. You know, and I think too, uh, from what I'm picking up from you, you're helping to equip them mm -hmm. if they should marry. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Because you can't be a good mate if you're not solid and, and substantive in your own personal That's life. Right, right. right. You right. know, so and true. to have your life in order spiritually, you know, and emotionally, right. and not bring undue baggage into a relationship right. or right. into a marriage. So Is true. that kind of where we where, where we are now? Yes, sir. And with the um, with the Save the Singles Conference call that again they meet on the second and fourth uh, Saturdays, and it's open to any whosoever will. Okay. And uh, we have, you know, a time of testimony, a time of, of course, prayer and word. But um, our word focus specifically for singles. So we may talk, of course, obviously about dating and yeah. things to look for yeah. uh, and choosing a mate. But we'll go even over practical things such as uh, finances, um, you know, things that for those singles who have children, you know, yeah. wisdom and knowledge on how to raise their kids as yeah. a single parent. Yeah. Um, of course, we also deal with even the spiritual issues, prayer, um, fasting or whatnot. So we try to deal with the total man of singleness. Um, I think that that's flat out awesome. You help them to prepare them yes. to be meaningful, productive that's people, right. Right. you know, and to not be a burden should they enter into a relationship. That's right. right. Yeah. Now, how do folks get their hand, uh, get in touch with y'all so they can get their hand on the CD? The CD, they can go to uh, our website, www.savedandsingle.info. Okay. There's a link that says free CD. If they click on that, just fill out the form. They can uh, either have the MP3 sent to them via email or I can mail them a physical CD, whichever they choose. But um, it's free. Just go into the website. You said free? Free. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be a blessing. I mean, y'all just sounding better and better and better. <laughs> now, what's your excuse for getting help? Amen. What's the excuse? Here somebody has put together quite a package of encouragement and that's I believe that that is the one ministry that's that that's that is standing in great need of mm -hmm. ministry of encouragement I call yes. it ministry yes. of Barnabas the yes. people need to be encouraged lifted yes. up they need to be uh, be reminded
the fact that they do have purpose okay. and that and, and they have quality in life. And and I applaud you for for zeroing in and not just using the shotgun approach, but zeroing in mm -hmm. on your uh -huh. target and, and being effective in that. And again, if they want to get in touch, would you tell us how? Uh, go to our website, www.savedandsingle.info. Amen. And if you want to uh, uh, get into a great service and you're in the Bruton, Alabama area, come on down to Pastor Williams and Sister Barbara. They got something for you over there. Is that right? That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. God bless you. Good seeing you again, God my friend. You. Thank you. Bless your family. Amen. Amen. It's been my pleasure talking with you all tonight. Amen. I have enjoyed this because it's a good to see a family. It's good to see a family working together and putting in impact. And, they, and there are some things you can learn by, the Bible says, there's some things, the, Bible, the, the, the young have the strength, mm -hmm. yeah. but the old know the way. Yeah. Amen. Right. And sometimes they can tell you more in five minutes than you can read in a day. Right. So I just <laughs> applaud you for, y'all, for working together as a family affair. It takes that. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Man, 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 I have just truly been blessed up in here tonight. I know that you have been blessed. Brother Drake, everybody, y'all are, ooh, I thank God for you. There's a special uh, spirit of the Lord that's moving heavy in this place tonight. And everybody who's coming tonight, uh, who's shared, who sang, who was witnessed, they have just poured out from the depths of their heart. I feel the presence of the Lord in this house. I know y'all feel it out there in TV land. I know you've been blessed. Somebody has been touched tonight and somebody ought to give their life to the Lord tonight. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I just believe it with all my heart that somebody has been blessed. Somebody's burden has been lifted tonight. A load has been uh, taken off of your shoulder. Amen. And if, if it has not been totally taken off, you've gotten information tonight on knowing how to contact our guests and let them share with you how God has blessed them through their ministry. Amen. There's no need to keep walking around and hurt. And, and there are a lot of people that are hurting. These are calls that have come in from uh, all over metropolitan Atlanta. And I'll let y'all share with what you've had. Um, uh, what do you, well, just give the first name, if you will. Okay. We received a call from Keith. Amen. And he would like for us to pray that God will provide him with a place to live and food All to eat. All right. You better go on up in here. He didn't, he didn't ask for a new car. You know, he didn't ask for all of Lord, I just need a place to stay and food to eat. Yep. Amen. Before you start complaining, count your blessings. Amen. You got another one? Yes. We also received a call from Sarzina. Uh -huh. And she would like for us to pray for her and her children. And she also needs a place to stay. And she's in need of Good employment. God Almighty. Would you... I have Melissa here who has asked for prayers for marriage, uh, which is about to lead to divorce. Good God Almighty. And boy, that's y'all especially, yeah. right? They need to talk to y'all. <laughs> Amen. And Priscilla, who is praying for healing from vertigo. Amen. And Doreen is asking prayer for her finances. All right. I have um, Jacob who's called in for his Uncle Joe for drug, uh, smoking, and money issues. Good. Um, God also, a, a call in from Sarah. She's called asking, uh, praying for a boyfriend who just recently lost his job. Amen. Amen. Well, we're getting ready to go back to the music set and close out this hour, but just a 30 second father, in the name of Jesus, you've heard the request. Hallelujah. We bring them up before you right now, believing that whatever we ask in your name, believing you will do that for us right now. Father, do it as only you can. Wherever the need is, Lord, let that power go to that point right now. And we claim it done healing, Lord. We claim healing right now. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. And we're going to go off tonight with Brother Everett Drake as he's come with He's Our God. Take us on home, Brother Drake. God bless you. Amen. Lift your hands. Let's worship the Lord. After that powerful prayer, speaking of the needs of our people, we know that we serve a God who is able. And He's our God. I said He's our God. And He's an awesome God. He's our God. He's an awesome God.
He's our God. He's an awesome God. He's our God. He's an awesome God. He is the light of the world. He's our God. Oh, anybody trusting and believing in our God? Won't God make a way for you? Oh, don't fool me. Have you tried him for yourself? He is the light. Oh, he's our God. He's an awesome God. Oh. Say it another way. Listen. Lord. 